Last part that we have to do here is paint them and turn SpongeBob in. So if I come into here, you gotta do some painting of SpongeBob. Paint bucket tool is how we do painting. Paint bucket here. And that brings up our materials tab. There's browsing materials and there's materials already in the model. So if I don't see what I'm looking for here, I'm gonna come over to here to browse materials. And I wanna look for colors. Right now I'm just doing colors. There's all kinds of materials in here. But I'm gonna pick a nice yellow for SpongeBob and I'm going to paint SpongeBob. Remember to do some orbiting, paint all sides. And we'll catch SpongeBob's famous nose here and take care of that. I'm gonna slide down. I'm gonna get some black for SpongeBob's pupils. Boom and boom. Happy there. Now I gotta get some red for SpongeBob's mouth. So I'm gonna find a nice red. Let's go that color. Tip up to get the bottom by these teeth here. All right, anytime we turn something in, we want to make sure that I can see all the dimensions and we're all painted up. So we are going to go close that, close our material panel up here, there's a little X, and put in SpongeBob this way. I want to just click on the dimension tool, make sure I can read all of the dimensions well. So I'm going to pull them so they're off. I might have to even move some of these a little ways out of the way so I can read them better. Don't want to have dimensions crossing like that, if at all possible. Don't want to have them on a model. Those are looking okay. There's not much we can do there. I'm going to slide these up. Slide this out a little bit so I can see that one. 20, 200, and 20. And we have all the dimensions set up. This is a time where I'm going to use zoom extents. Gets everything into the center. Then I'm going to put my name on it. So I'm just going to go here, click on text, click here. Type my name, our one, two, whatever it is. Hit enter, we get to a new line, and then I just click off of it. File, oh, put a save to make sure we save it. And to turn it in, we have to turn it into a picture. So we're going to go export PNG going to ask us how big to make it. So I'm going to try to shrink this in a little bit. So let's try 900. I kind of am starting to like that. It's shrinking down. I like the height. I just don't like the width right now. Let's try to go to 500. off some numbers. Almost there. And you look at my name is still on there. I can still see my name. Some numbers are crowded, but I can see most of it. And I'm transparent background. Export as PNG. And if I take a look, it says PNG down here. So if I go into Schoology, I'm going to hit submit right here on this SpongeBob and SketchUp. Hit submit and I can drag that PNG into it or I can go find that PNG. And you are all done and you've completed your first.